We know if the protons and neutrons are tightly together in the nucleus of an atom. The electrons move rapidly around the nucleus in distinct energy levels. Each energy level is capable of accommodating only a certain number of electrons. The first energy level region is called as K-shell and can hold only two electrons. This energy level is filled first. The second energy level region is called as L-shell and can hold only eight electrons. This energy level is filled after the first energy level and before the third energy level. The third energy level is called as M-shell and can hold a maximum of 18 electrons. There are further energy levels, each containing a large number of electrons, than the preceding energy level. So, the general formula is that, as per the principle, the nth shell can hold up to 2 into n to the power of 2 electrons. Now, you may have a doubt. That, in earlier explanation regarding an atom, the first two electrons were same an individual diameter circle path. As well as, the following next eight electrons also were same an individual diameter path. But here, shell is introduced. And it is also, like a spherical region. As well as, under this region, electrons are accommodated. For easy understanding, the structure of an atom was illustrated. But, from coming videos, the structure will slightly deviate continuously. If you want deep understanding regarding an atom, you can follow this video. Otherwise, if you are a higher level student, this structure is enough for you. And I upload these videos only for you. So, you have to say, should I want to continue or not this topic further deeply? Because, I don't know, how many of you higher level students, and how many of you graduate students? I think now you will have understood about Shell. Okay, let's see in next.